Good morning, afternoon, evening, or night time, wherever and whenever you may be watching this video. It's been a while since I last said that. So guys, today's video is gonna be talking about uh, a fragrance that surprisingly, get ready to feel a little bit old, if you know this fragrance, was released in 2016. We are now in 2019. This fragrance was released in 2016. That blows my mind. And here it is. Isimiaki Noir Amber. I should say Isimiaki Port Hom Noir Amber. Really nice box. I don't know if the sun is gleaming off it, as you can see. Um, but yeah, really nice, huge box. I was, I, I've never actually owned an Isimiaki fragrance. I found the original one to be a bit dated to my nose. I know people would argue it's timeless, but it just had that sort of like dated, fresh citrus thing. It wasn't a bad fragrance, but I've got loads of citrus fragrances that I would rather reach for. Um, so I've never owned one, so this may be the normal packaging, but from what I've seen online, I don't think it is. Correct me if I'm wrong. Has a slide, a tab to pull out, and there is the bottle inside. I know the bottle is basically exactly the same, except the colors. So yeah, it's got a sort of matte black or plastic black lid, and then the color of the juice or the color, no, the color of the glass actually, it looks as though it's got like an amberish gold touch, like a brown, ambery. It's really nice, really pleasing to look at. It's nice, now I can see the sun coming through it as well. But yeah, this is the fragrance, 100 mil. Like I said, I think it cost me 55 pounds and that was in sort of like a sale, money off sort of situation. Um, so this was a blind buy, okay? There's no shops close by, there's no stores anywhere near that were stocking this. As I said, it was off a website. I can safely say this is, without doubt, the best blind buy I have ever made. 100%, 100%. For the amount of money that it cost, I have never made such a successful blind buy. Me and my girlfriend absolutely love this fragrance. It is exactly what I was looking for at the time as well, because uh, my, only, my only main, I've got two cold weather fragrances. I've got a little bit left of my Dior Homme Intense and I've got a travel, like a travel spray, 14 mil of Memoirs of a Trespasser by Imaginary Authors. So I was after a fragrance, you know, with 100 mil preferably, that would suit the warm weather and it didn't smell like the run of the mill sort of fragrance. And this fits the bill, this fits it perfectly. So in regards to notes, from the top of my head, you've got at the top stuff like saffron, nutmeg, maybe cinnamon. Then in the middle, it's got, it's, I'm sure it says papyrus, cedar and vetiver. And then at the bottom, you've got um, tonka, amber and vanilla. It also does list leather somewhere along the way, but I don't get a really super strong leathery vibe from this fragrance. This fragrance to me smells like a beautiful, warm, cozy, sweet, but not in that sort of like the current trend or the last year's trend of bubblegum sweet. Um, it's not like a, what's the opposite of mature? It's not an immature fragrance because personally, I know some people really like um, One Million and things like that and Jean-Paul Gaultier Ultra Mall but I personally find they have that younger person sweetness to them. And I'm not like an old guy. Don't know what that face was, old guy. Um, but I just, I find them too sweet personally. This has got a very, very nice balance of sweetness. Oh, the, the only other fragrance that I have tried with saffron in the top is by Imaginary Authors, again, and it's called Slow Explosions. And I do see a similarity there although Slow Explosions has more of a apple, it's not as, I wanna say it's not as dark as this, but this isn't like a dark, heavy fragrance, but Slow Explosions is a bit more fresher, a bit brighter. Yeah, straight from the opening, guys, this is a winner in my eyes. There's no, you know, sometimes you get a fragrance and in the very, very opening, it can be a bit, okay, give that a minute to, you know, calm down. I don't get that with this. I think this is just a beautiful, cozy, warm, 
It reminds me a bit, so it reminds me of Slow Explosions with our saffron at the top. Um, but the feeling that it gives me, the feeling that it invokes is a similar, the best one I can think to describe it is Rich Warm Addictive Tobacco Collection by Zara. It's just got that really lovely, warming, hugging, cozy feel to it with a touch of sweetness. Like I said, I personally, I don't get leather all that much from this fragrance. Um, but I get what a lot of other people have said in like a suede kind of smell, like a light brown, as stupid as that sounds, you know, if you want to visualize a color like a, a suede, like a light brown, velvety, treacly smell. Um, longevity on it is really good on my skin, lasts pretty much the whole night, good five, six hours, which is good for me. And it is a crowd pleasing scent, you know, a lot of, um, a lot of fragrances that I've gone into recently are just almost passion projects when it comes to smelling them. They're fragrances that I wear around the house and a lot of people wouldn't maybe not like to smell it outside, um, in public. But this one, I think you're going to be hard pressed to find someone who really dislikes it. I honestly think you're going to be, you're going to struggle to find someone who really, really dislikes this. It's sweet, it's warm, it's velvety, it's suede -y. Suede? -y? Is that a word? Um, I don't really know what else to say about it. It's just, it's beautiful. It's the best blind buy I've ever done. Try and get your nose on it, guys. Great, great fragrance. And that's it for this video, to be honest, guys. I'm not gonna go into it too much more because I know there's been a lot of videos on it already, um, probably describing it a lot better than I can. I just, I really like it and I wanted to talk about it. Um, but yeah, that's Isimiyaki, Porom, Noir, Amber. Try and get your nose on this if you can find it available anywhere. I think eBay's got them at the minute going for like anywhere between 70 to 100 pounds. But yeah, great, great fragrance. Um, it is, you know, it's better in colder weather, but in the UK, you're probably gonna be fine all the way up till summer, you know, sort of March, April, May, I think you're gonna be fine.